Lion, don't call me gay. You're gay. <laughs> Shut up. Hang on. I actually gotta, um, I gotta switch some stuff over. Isn't that exciting? I... Yeah. I don't actually remember uh, the exact route to get to the stake driver, but it's okay. I, I remember a decent chunk of it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> All right. How's it going? <laughs> okay. So we do that, and then we do this, and then we, um... I gotta... Oh, right, I gotta turn on the PS4. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the last time I got a Bloodborne achievement, like, preemptively. Ah, oh, shit, hang on. Okay. And, uh... It was in 2018. So it's been a while. <laughs> All right, give me a sec. Yeah. All right. Just tell me if I need to turn anything up or do anything or, you know, all that jazz, all that shit. Hang on. Yeah, so the cord isn't because the cord is so goddamn short. For I the the one that I have at least. Bloodborne's a weird game. Oh yeah. For weirdos. Pale blood. Oh yes. <laughs> Pale blood. Well, you've come to the right place. This guy never shows up again. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only Pump up the jam. <laughs> but where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Let's have a drink! I just did. I just did that. I just... Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that fucking hairline. <laughs> <laughs> Wowee. All right. Um. Gwaz. Gwazes. Nice Vegeta cosplay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It, like, FromSoft has really bumped up their uh, their game when it comes to the character models. This character does not look great. <laughs> it's weird. It looks so much worse than I remember for some reason. Like, it looks old. And I, I mean, it's not like I can adjust the settings or anything. We're going to do Waste of Skin because it's funny. You are nothing talentless. You shouldn't have been born. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to... Uh, do I have any favorites? Oh, I do. Look at these pretty boys. I don't like that one. This just looks like Lies of P. <laughs> but with a weaker jaw maybe 
Sounds like my dad. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Hang on, I want I want a bigger jawline. Well, how do I base skin color, build, voice, build? Oh, we gotta have a burly upper body. Hang on. You think that's a joke? It isn't. Okay. Well, I don't I don't need you to trauma dump <laughs> into Please don't trauma dump into chat. Please, Satan. I'm just trying to play Bloodborne. Ah, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's because I'm gay. Better? No, it's not any better at all, actually. <laughs> That's like the exact fucking same. Hang on. Let's let's make the jaw a little bit less. <clears throat> then it's because I'm not gay. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. It's it's not. It, no, there's no recovery from this. I, I hate to tell you, pupils, size of pupils. Why is his nose so small and skinny? Face shape. Nose ridge. Why is it so hard? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we should just we should just probably stop. <laughs> well, hang on. It's because I'm not gay. It's because you're gay. Oh man, you got me. We need new material. I've been saying it. You've been thinking it, I'm sure. You can't hide it. We gotta stop, man. Why does he have such a weird nose? Can't wait for Fry Gay. What, what, what? what happens on Friday? Nostril width. Nostril size. Ah, there we go. That's better. Okay. Hang on. I th I, I want his his uh, jaw actually has gotten a little too normal looking. He needs uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him really, like, high cheekbones. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? <laughs> God, he's beautiful. All right. Ooh, glasses. We can give him grasses. These are weird. <laughs> is this good? I think this is uh I think I think we're gonna go ahead and, and do this. Why are the gla the glasses are shaped weird? Color of glasses. 
green. I hate that. Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't. <laughs> Maybe just a slight green. No, no, they gotta be full green. I hate it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Hogwarts Legacy looks sick. It sure does. Save to favorites. Nice. Beautiful. Amazing. His eyelashes are sticking through the glasses. <laughs> Voice. <laughs> you look like a 70s or 80s rock star? Hell yeah, brother. Alright, we're gonna do... I like the screams, so we're gonna do, uh, aged. <laughs> Alright, cool. Finish. Alright, let's see if I fuck up the beginning. I'm proud of my Zarbon Moon timing. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> I think... I think I know where to go. But I don't remember uh, how close it is exactly, or if I have to beat Gascon. I think I have to beat Gascon beforehand. Ah, shit. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> nice. I still don't actually know how uh, the beginning of this game works like what what this beginning cutscene is <laughs> i don't know how it uh relates to the rest of the game really kind of confuses me a little bit but it's kind of neat Like every other Soulsborne game. I understand. I get what's... Want to hear a funny story? Sure. Go ahead. Hey, it's the little guys. <laughs> ah, you found yourself a hunter. <laughs> this is the fucking worst. It looks like my urologist. When I went to the urologist a few years ago. Finish your story in, in one message. Don't send tiny parts of it. <laughs> it makes it so much more difficult. I had my penis checked by a doctor and he had a nurse in the room. That's great. <laughs> That's wonderful, man. I, I really wanted to hear about this. Wait, I forgot the rest. Okay. Nice. Oh, what the fuck?
I'm so good at Bloodborne. <laughs> I haven't even played this game in a very long time. And uh, uh, I'm already... It's pretty clear now. The frame rate's not very good. <laughs> uh, 30 frames. Gotta love it. Gotta love that 30 FPS. Uh, it's a great time. It's not the worst. Blood vial, hell yeah. Would be really nice if we got like a PC remaster, you know? That'd be really cool. <laughs> Nurse was a good person. Talked to her on her on the way out, and that's cool. This is a pretty boring story. Not gonna lie, I think you could have done better. <laughs> she was my age. Well, that's cool. You could have told. I'm just saying, you could have told this in a much more engaging way. <laughs> Guys, you are born of the blood. Thanks. Hi, <laughs> Ritu. Good to see you. <sighs> this lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will reawaken at the lamp. Okay. I finally made it somewhat on time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good job. Hunters do not normally employ shields ineffectual against uh, the strength of beasts as they tend to be. That's true. It's kind of funny hearing that and then playing Dark Souls where you fight monsters that are way bigger than what are in this game. And then, uh, the shield works. <laughs> you missed my story? Yeah, but the story sucked, so. <laughs> All right, what weapon are we going to use? I like the sock lever. I'll just use the sock lever. And then, uh, I mean, we're only going to use it for a short time. Hunter pistol, hunter blunder, but we're going to use the blunderbuss. <laughs> Hi, Garman. Yeah, Bloodborne's all right. <laughs> I don't think that, uh, I think literally just because it's limited to the PS4, I honestly think that kind of hurts the game a lot because you're, you're stuck to 30 frames per second. You're stuck to this aspect ratio. You're or that this resolution like it's just kind of it's a it's, it's a I don't know it's just a little uh I don't know it's just a little just a wee bit painful look at my character we're wearing grasses <laughs> we look like that one guy uh that from that meme <laughs> it's like hang on let me see if I can find it I can't talk right now. hang on
I can't talk right now. I'm making piss. So if you can see the dark inside of me, no one will ever change the shadow of my Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'm sure I'll tell you right now. So this is a story about all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And if I could take a minute, just sit right there and I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. My life plays at 30 FPS, sometimes slower. Sometimes slower at times. <laughs> it's kind of a... Oh, well. I hate to admit it, but I don't think I've watched Prince of Bel-Air before. I've watched parts of it. I've seen a few scenes. My brother used to watch it a lot when I was younger. Seems alright. Seems pretty good. Damn, GG, man. Yeah. <sighs> All right, we're going to go to uh, Old Yarnum as fast as possible. <sighs> Lion, you didn't have to. You, you just, you, you didn't have to post that. Oh, you must be a hunter. You must be a hunter. I'm not one from around here either. I love Gilbert. I'm Gilbert. Gilbert. Hello, outsider. Fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. I've never played this game before either, but I'm here for it. Same, it's not on PC. I've played through it, I think, twice before. Oh shit, thank you so much for the 100 bits. To be honest, I've learned so many different games from your channel. <laughs> that warms my heart a little bit. <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> Ah, shit. So in Bloodborne, there's, uh, there's a couple different things. So, you know Dark Souls, you know how there's parrying in Dark Souls? You can parry enemies, like, with a parrying shield, and then that opens them up for a, uh, strong attack. In this game, parrying is also a thing, but you use a gun. So if you shoot an enemy, in the middle of when uh, I'm talking. I'm, I'm in the middle of talking, Satan. If you shoot an enemy <laughs> when they're in the middle of an attack, then that opens them up to uh, a visceral attack. So watch this. Hello. And then you can do this. And then that's good. <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry, too early, my B. Yeah, it is your B. We need a quieter- we need the quieter clap. That's not quieter, that's just less. <laughs> yeah, um, it's- it's pretty similar to the Souls games in, in a couple ways. Oh my god. You do have weapons that can transform. Oh god damn it. Hang on. The weapons that transform are kind of neat. It adds a little bit to the combat. Not a ton, but they're just kind of fun. Um, so like you can attack and then do a weapon transformation and you can switch between those two. Which is pretty good. There's a lot of guys over there. Um, oh, there's a lot of guys here. Ow. How did that not hit him? A 
Bloodborne's combat isn't my favorite. God damn it. <laughs> it's not my favorite uh, combat system of these games. In fact, it's probably like... If I had to rank it, like, I, I mean, I, I I wouldn't rank it, but <laughs> I don't think I would rank it just because of principle or whatever. But uh, for me personally, I'm just not really a huge Bloodborne person. It's fun enough. I just, I, I'm not a huge fan of the dashing as opposed to uh, rolling. And dashing in this game is, uh, well, you only have eight directions you can dash in. <laughs> Hang on, it makes sense the bullet to the chest would stun an enemy. <laughs> I mean, what if they had more than one chest? Grass scruggling. What are you talking about? I got hit, like, twice. <laughs> Apparently scruggling is anything. Scruggling is... A very loose term for Satan. Fucking scruggling. Fuck that guy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. The, uh, the dashing just doesn't feel the best to me. It feels like a little more imprecise than I'm used to, and it's a bit too much, and I don't know. I don't know. I still, I still like it, though. It's still a very good game. Also, the people in Yarnum are funny, because, like, <laughs> every time you hit one of them and, like, they die, they have different things they'll say. Well, they'll be like, Garson based. And then they, like, some of them will go, This town's finished. <laughs> like, as if their death means so much. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, dashing in general doesn't vibe with me. I still want to play though. Yeah, like I think that Sekiro, it works better for me just because you have more control. Uh, the dash isn't as massive. Ow. This town's finished! <laughs> like, I, I like dashing in Sekiro. Because, I think it's because it's so much, like, less distance that you cover. Uh, in this game, the dash is massive. And it's so, like, straight-lined. Oh, there's also dogs in this game, and they're awful. I'm covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Poor pupper. I always charge in without parrying, blocking, or rolling, so I die every time with these games. <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta get used to it. You know, you just gotta get the rhythm down. You just like, like Donkey said when he first like actually understood these games. You just gotta dodge and hit. <laughs> yeah. Bloodborne probably has the simplest. Uh, combat system out of any of these games because there's so little to it. It's just fast. And uh, that's not a bad thing. Um, to some people it might be a bad thing, but I don't think it's like the worst. It's not the worst thing. Haha. <laughs> 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 like with bigger enemies, uh, Parrying comes in big, big handy. Also, there's a torch. All right, we got to figure out where we're even going. <laughs> Stupid fucking character. 
You got me. I love the concept of Souls games, but Def can't play them, play them past the tutorial. That guy fell faster than my bank account on Black Friday. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, parrying does big, big damage. Does big work. Let me go over here. God, I'm really feeling the 30 frames. Hopefully we just get used to it. It's funny how, like, in a game like this, I'll definitely feel the 30 frames, but then I play, like, Majora's Mask on N64, and... That's completely fine. <laughs> it's really weird. I wonder what, like, frame rate those games run at. Ah, shit. Also, there's no poise. What the fuck? There's no poise in this game. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> that was close. Oh my god. Ran out of stamina. Alright. And then there's the blood vial system, which, I mean, is fine until you reach a really hard boss and then you gotta farm blood vials. Fucking dags. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, because the N64 has a charm that makes us blind to their low FPS. It's, yeah, it's interesting. Like, I, I don't, I don't really, maybe it is just like the, I don't know, the, uh, style of it. Like, the look of those games. Like, maybe they're already low FPS. Uh, but they seem to have pretty stable frame rates. At least, like, Majora's Mask did, I think. It's kind of hard to tell. Can I can I get one of these guys? Wood no. Needed. Okay, I got two. I got both of them. Ow. Ow. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I should have gone for a backstab instead of a parry. Hang on. Let's kill him. Yeah, fuck grass. What the fuck? Ritu, Ritu gifted a tier one sub to- oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Hang on. I can't- forget. keep- I didn't- oh my god, I can't pause. <laughs> Did you do the- I'm confused. Hang on. Suck. No sub sound. What the fuck? But there was one earlier, wasn't there? Give me a second. Let me look at Streamlabs. I'm not signed into Streamlabs. What? <sighs> Come on, Cloudbot. Did someone sub earlier? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ritu gave bits. That's different. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it notified me about the bits. What are you doing? Shut up. Thank you so much for the sub. I'll give more bits. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> You're good. You already gave 100 today. That's more than I get most days. <laughs> so you're all right. Oh my god. All right, there we go. I'm going to run past these guys because we already cleared them out earlier and I don't like this area. There's way too many dudes.
But yeah, Bloodborne still has a lot of cool aspects that like did get reintroduced into the series later on. Like I think I'm pretty sure in Elden Ring, uh, they they do a similar thing with souls, where I think that enemies can pick up your souls. So like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. There's some there's some stuff. There's some things. Oh my god. Oh my god. You bitch. Hang on. I'll give more bits. Don't tim me. Are we dying a lot? Not really. We've died once. Here, watch this. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, best PS4 game ever? Uh... I don't know if I'd agree with that. I think it's a good game. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me think about what's on PS4. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I'm not really a huge Bloodborne fan. Grass running through a crowd of enemies, dodging hits and bullets like it's the Matrix. <laughs> I may have spoken too soon. Yeah, don't like... Uh, don't praise me too much. I'm gonna fuck up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just, I don't know. I think Bloodborne's fine. It's not my favorite. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah, oh, shit. Ooh. I hate werewolves when you're a low level. Okay. All right, we're good. Bloodborne too good. I decay what you're talking about. Baker, have you even played Bloodborne? <laughs> I don't remember you ever talking about owning a PS4. You, you have never talked to me about owning a PS4. Did you play it on your friend's PS4 or something? I played all of it. My roommate owned a PS4. Okay. And I played it. Okay. I don't know, man. 30 FPS. <laughs> the blood vial system. I'm not a huge fan of uh, uh, the dodging system either when you're locked on. Search the corpses. What do you mean? I did. Uh, you... It's pretty obvious. Okay. In, in these games, Cat, just by the way, uh, if there's a glowing thing coming out of the corpse, then you can search the corpse. I can't just search any corpse. I don't know if you uh, know that. Hang on. But yeah... So, uh, sorry for the um, actually, but, um, actually. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head down here. I'm pretty sure that near here, sort of, there's a thing. Okay, well, he just fell. It's kind of stupid that they made this game a PS exclusive. From Software has a history of uh, making PlayStation exclusives. 
They did it with Demon Souls originally. Demon Souls, well, not originally. Demon Souls still is a PS exclusive. Uh, the remake is a PS5 exclusive. So, ow. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I I don't like exclusives in general. Uh, but. It's fine. You know, hopefully we just get a uh, a remaster or something, or it just gets ported to PC at some point. That'd be nice. Alright, I think that the... We're just getting an outfit right now, and I think that the outfit we're looking for is over here. Hello, rat. Ah, shit. <laughs> Come on! Okay, there we go. <laughs> and he fell. Yeah! Alright, now we're gonna look like John Bloodborne. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. He's down there. Forgot, I forgot the glasses are still going to be part of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, we still look cool, right? Oh god. Okay, we're good. I mean, grass is on, am I right? Hell yeah, brother. All right, we're gonna go this way. <sighs> but yeah, like, Bloodborne just has a lot of uh, kind of annoying things about it. And then there's also just a... Uh... Like, I'm not a big fan of the atmosphere. I'm not a big fan of how the entire game is super bleak. And, uh, gothic. It's just not my thing, you know? I, I'm not generally a fan of stuff like that. Um. Hang on, now I'll drink. Can't pause in this game. Like, I'm okay with depressing games, I guess, but, uh,. This game is just so... I don't know. <laughs> the entire game looks like this, kind of. It, it has areas that look pretty different. Uh, like, it does have variation, but basically the entire game is bleak. And that's fine. It's just not really something that I'm a big fan of. I like how Dark Souls and Elden Ring have, like, sections of just beauty. And, and brightness and, and color and, and all this, like, other shit. It's it's more fantastical. This, it, while still being kind of bleak, this is more just uh, blood, werewolves, and later in the game, uh, eldritch abominations. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. We can. I do actually like uh, the backstab system in this game. You can't just, uh, like, walk up and then do it. You have to land a heavy attack, which is, and I also love this. That effect that happens when you fully charge a heavy attack, that's really nice feeling. But, uh, I, I think that that's a pretty good move, and I'm kind of sad that they didn't put it in any of the other games. Because uh, I think that backstabs are a little too freely given maybe um and it feels really good to land one on like a boss or something are you i don't know your voice but i know that smell are you a hunter yeah to the toilet for my mom i think it's coming back from the hunt and she went to find him but now she's gone too i'm all alone i'm scared 
So, that's another thing. I can't think of a single happy NPC in this game. <laughs> like, you know how in Dark Souls, everybody, I mean, everybody kind of does have a, like, sad ending to an extent. Most NPCs do. Uh, same with Elden Ring. But, I mean, at least there's, like, moments of, like, oh, that's sweet, that's good, that's nice, and some endings are happy. Um, yeah, Bloodborne, it's, it, it, uh, everything sucks. <laughs> Everything's, uh, very unfortunate. Like, uh... I mean, spoiler, since we're not going to do her quest line, that little girl's quest line. Her mom's dead. And her dad is the first boss. So, and if you do her quest, then she'll go out and then she'll die. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty fucking bleak. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, <laughs> um, I need to think about where the fuck I'm going. Okay, there's that. I never even looked down. I never even realized that's the street where all the guys are. And so this bridge above, I didn't realize that it loops around and we end up here. We could fight this boss. This boss is like an optional first boss. It's the cleric beast. Actually, hang on. Okay, I just fell down. Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's like, oh fuck. <laughs> Ah, what the fuck? Uh, I'm, I'm doing it way too early. Okay. Maybe over the course of this playthrough, my opinions on Bloodborne will improve. I mean, I, I like it. I already think it's like, I don't know, an easy 7 out of 10. It might be an 8. Uh, like, it's still a really good game, but I don't think it's definitely not my favorite, like, uh, FromSoft game. And we'll, you'll probably see why. Uh, eventually. <laughs> why I feel that way. Hello. <laughs> when the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as old Yarnum burns to the ground that moonlit night. Lore! Does not open from this side. Bray. I think that uh, this is actually the first FromSoft game that kind of has a lot of enemies that are like more strategically and more like funly placed, if that makes any sense. Because there's, you'll note, I mean, you noticed in the first area, or you probably didn't notice, but like, 
you've seen in the first area. There's, like, actually enemies going on patrols and shit. That's not really a thing in previous games. Uh, and you got to remember the games before this are Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls. From Software did make Dark Souls 2, but that was, like, their... People joke that's their B team. So Dark Souls 2 is kind of all over the place in terms of quality. Uh... And this came out a year after Dark Souls 2, and it feels like a massive fucking leap. <laughs> like, Dark Souls 2 feels like it came out three years prior or something. It's just strange. Haha. <laughs> Ow. We're gonna go fight Cleric Beast. Because why not? Shouldn't be that bad, hopefully. I haven't fought him in a really long time. This is another staple of From Software. A giant boss jumping over a thing into view. <laughs> Frame Framerate, please. I really wish that the camera zoomed out a little bit. Because I can't see shit. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking all this. Give me a sec. Oh shit. <laughs> that was close. What is this camera, bro? <laughs> this boss is easy peasy. It's definitely not like super difficult, but it's also kind of finicky and hard to tell what the hell is going on. Say a slur, effective immediately. Snow Snow. No, I'm timing you out for fucking 10 minutes for that. What the fuck? What makes you think that's... Why, why would you send that? Okay. <sighs> Not the place, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> Not the right stream. Say a blur. I can do that. <laughs> I don't really know how I'll do that, but I can do that. Oh. 
Uh, so I opened up a gate. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember where it is. Alright, that opens up that. So many guys. back here. Bloodborne is connected to Dark Souls. You're just trying to fucking trigger me by saying that, and I'm not gonna feed your trigger. <laughs> I'm not gonna feed it. I'm fuck you. <laughs> not gonna feed your hallucinations. Alright. Take your schizo pills. Now you've seen the proof. What is the proof? Please, enlighten me. What is the proof? Enlighten me. I, I would love to be enlightened right now. be honest, I'm pretty embarrassed that I died to Cleric Beast. <laughs> Maybe I should have leveled up a little bit. Or something. Maybe I should have done something. Alright, let's go this way real quick. I think that this might lead to a shortcut. No. I'm confused. The Hunter's Dream with the trees and Dark Souls takes place beneath it. That is the biggest reach I have ever heard. <laughs> oh, there's trees in, in this game, and then there's trees in this game. Is the Erd tree connected to it as well? Even though there's no sign of the golden, like, roots and shit from the Erd tree or any other aspects of it. I had no idea. <laughs> it's a similar, uh, it's a similar concept. Like, the, the underside of the Dark Souls, the world in Dark Souls is, uh, the underside of the world in Dark Souls is made up of, like, giant trees, you know? Which is cool. And then in this game, the Hunter's Dream, you see trees in the distance. I don't really know what those trees are or what they represent, but I'm not sure how they would ever connect to Dark Souls, to be honest. 
Elden Ring is just an alternative name to Dark Souls 4. Okay. <laughs> I think the correct way of putting it would be uh, Elden Ring is just Dark Souls 2. 2. It's the second Dark Souls 2. I think that makes more sense. They have a lot of similarities in terms of uh, design and what they were originally intended to be. Elden Ring is basically Dark Souls 2 if Dark Souls 2 had a much better planning team and much more development time. Did you know Dark Souls 2 was originally supposed to have... Okay, whoa. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Did you know that Dark Souls 2 was originally supposed to have a horse? They, they, they wanted that. That did not work out. <laughs> well... I'm probably just going to fight him with the camera unlocked. I think it's a way better idea. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Did the same move three times in a row, bro. Come on. A kind of cool concept that Bloodborne does have is uh you can like do that you can break uh enemies like body parts which is pretty neat it stuns them for a bit and i think that it makes you do more damage on that body part from then on i think it's pretty neat it's pretty uh hard to notice to be honest i didn't know that it existed in my first time playing I thought it was just, like, random stunning. Alright. Honestly, I think that my biggest gripe with Bloodborne still is the camera. <laughs> the bosses are just too damn big to have a camera this close. Like, the only boss that I've had, I think I have issues with in uh, Elden Ring in terms of camera control is uh, Fire Giant. And even then, it's pretty decent. It's not the worst. Okay. 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 Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta get used to the rhythm of this game again. Okay, yep, that, yep. And also, that's another thing. Jumping 
is uh, the same as it is in Dark Souls 1, which is very, very annoying. Which I can't really blame them for that. It's just annoying. If you want to sprint and then roll, you have to stop for a second, because if you sprint and then press B, or what is it, circle again, then you jump. It's the same button. <sighs> it's fine. It's a non-issue, it's fine. All right, we're gonna go level up because we, uh, we got a bunch of points to put in. I don't know what we're gonna level up. Probably just health and strength, maybe. I don't remember what the uh, stake driver uses, but that's what we're gonna be using for the rest of the game. We still have to get that, but in order to get that, we have to go through Gascoin or Gascoin, whatever his name is. Good hunter, I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beast, and I will be here for you. Fun fact. Golden your sickly spirit. I think. <laughs> I'm not completely 100% sure on this, sadly. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure she has the same voice actor as uh, the Maiden in Black and Demon Souls. I could be wrong about that, but they sound similar. Very well. Let I remember hearing that. Let me stand. I think we need blood tinge. I should probably hold off. Uh Yeah. Farewell, good may you Alright. Now we gotta remember how to get to gas going. I don't know why. <clears throat> Fucking snow snow. Yeah. You know. Uh, I don't know why, but I think that I have the most trouble remembering the level layouts in Bloodborne as well. I'm not... I don't... I can't really say if there's a reason for that. <laughs> but... Uh, Maybe it's because a lot of the areas look pretty similar. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. I was thinking that, yeah. It's probably my least... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's the hardest for me to remember. The general, general, general idea of everywhere I've seen is the same. We've only been through one area, but yeah, this area has uh, a lot of uh, similar looking like, you know, sections. Like, I mean, even this little section right here, you're going down some stairs and you see coffins and a lamppost and shit like that. I meant not only in your playthrough. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there's not a, a massive amount of variety in um, tone. Which again, that's that's one of the reasons why I said earlier this game can be a little draining. I think I said that, but I, I, I said probably something similar. This game can be a little draining for me. Where... I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing gray. I want to see some color. I want to see some like, uh, I don't know, beautiful vistas or something. Oh, thought 
I saw some. Bork, bork. <laughs> You're a hunter, aren't you? So, well, do you know of any safe places? I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you want to sort off your asses, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? Obligated. Are you going to tell me you're not? No. Oh, I should have known. You're good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That not a good you outside, is she? Go on. Admit it. Stupid for all now, don't you? Well, go and stop it. I'm probably going to turn up the the volume of the voices. Because they're a little quiet. We can meet a pretty cool NPC here. She's got a really cool uh, look. Problem is, uh, in order to get her outfit, you either just need to kill her or you need to uh, do her entire quest line. And I don't want to do her entire quest line. <laughs> so, I mean. But also, killing her is really hard. Sort of. Anyway, here she is. Oh. A hunter, are you? Hunter. And an outsider. A hunter. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. If we're gonna kill her, it's probably gonna have to be right now. But also, like, we don't really get anything super worthwhile for killing her, other than her outfit. And it's a really fucking cool outfit. I mean, it's really cool looking. <laughs> Uh, it's probably my favorite outfit in the game, so... I already did her quest line on another playthrough, if it makes you feel any better. Still lingering about. But I like her a lot. What? She's fun. A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts. A little different from the beasts themselves. Ah, oh, and she gives you that. Hang on. Uh. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> Man, I wish that they had uh, that emote in the other games, to be honest. Especially Elden Ring, because Elden Ring has so many capes. <laughs> He's fun. Anyway. I'll think about it. Kill. Murder. <laughs> Hang on, you should change the stream title to Getting Stake Driver for the Playthrough. Why two A's? I don't get it. Look at you, you sorry drunk. I'll string you up like... 
Fuck. I didn't do it right. I needed to do it right here. Ah, shit. There's no fucking way I'm killing her. That was a type through? Type up? Or wait, what? That was a typo? Getting the stake driver for the playthrough. Okay, yeah, okay, alright. Fine, fine, fine. Just stab? Yeah, it's not that simple. She can also stab, and, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Um, she do big, big damage, and I do little, little damage, because it's an RPG. It's an action RPG, but it's still an RPG. So, you know. Where did she go? Ow. Well, stab heart, then boom dead. Yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> she went maybe because nothing here got hearts or maybe because it's a video game and that's not really how video games ever work <laughs> to be honest or at least that's not how most video games work Fuck did she go? <laughs> she didn't go this way, I'm guessing. That's that's too far. Maybe she fell down further? She probably fell down further. I'm probably just gonna have to reload the area. She just ran. I don't know if her AI would do that. She'd probably just keep on trying to kill me. Now I'm a little turned around. I'm not sure which way is which. I think she fell on this side. Maybe not. Saw a spear. It's a pretty good weapon. Well, she didn't... Eh. I don't know. We're probably not finding her. We might just... That's really weird, though. <laughs> Did she despawn? I doubt it. I don't think so. Ow.
I don't know, like, that, it doesn't make sense to me that she would despawn, but maybe I went into another area, and that's a possibility. It unloaded her, but I, that shouldn't be the case. That wouldn't. What was that sound? Maybe she went back up. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she's just standing somewhere. Maybe she went back to her spot. What the fuck? What the hell, man? Okay, she was like over there and she's just gone, yeah. So where could she have... What? All right. Well, might as well get this shit. I need to upgrade my weapon. Sort of. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why is she right there? Why is she? She's not in attack mode either. Okay. Hang on. Give me a second. Maybe I could... Hang on, I want to try something. If I threw a blood cocktail at her... Oh, hey, that's smart. That worked. Oh, well, never mind. It only partially worked. Nah, they're not really attacking her. That's kind of weird, though, that they're not... Alright, could you stay right there? Alright, I don't know if that hit, but I'm gonna... Man, that was a complete fucking miss. What the hell? <laughs> I only have five more, man. Oh my god. I hate this. The, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Um. Oh, that would have probably killed me if it had. No! Ah, yeah. oh, you got me in a fucking corner. God damn it. Yeah. You <laughs> really fucked that one up. Shit. We're really getting sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> Also, powder cake hunter badge. That's what we're going for. That's what we need to get. Nice work. Thanks. 
she's really fast and scary and I'm running low on blood vials actually like really low Gotta love that. And Merciless. Yeah, she, uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. She's got dumb AI. We can, we can abuse that. gotta do that because they're just gonna get out anyway okay and dogs in this game are a pain in the ass <sighs> okay gotta not fuck it up this time i mean it it also depends on what she does uh in her little Thing. So what we got to do is we got to stand right here and uh, basically just pray <laughs> that she'll attack us and run off and fall to her death. Because this is enough uh, to just insta-kill her if she falls right in the middle. We could... Um, never mind, we don't have a shield. Hello, still angry at me? Yep. You coming? You coming? <laughs> Eileen? Hello? <laughs> oh no, she's calling my bluff. She knows. Uh, she's being very mean. Did she just go back? She just went back. Oh my god. Yeah! What? <laughs> what? No. She oh. That kills her. That's supposed to kill her. Well, she's low health, I guess, but She wasn't gonna die. No, it's supposed to kill her. She always dies from that. I swear. At least usually. She's supposed to. But she said no. Which she's not allowed to do. <laughs> she's not supposed to do. And I have six blood vials, so... That's six heals. Which we're gonna use one before we engage, so that's really five. So... Wow. Got a tiny music box. <laughs> All right. Is stupid.
fuck. That should get her. It didn't. Oh my god. Are you broken? What happened? Okay, we're good. Girl Hunter badge, okay. Cool. <sighs> no outfit? Uh, we're gonna get it. You have to buy it. Um, you get the badge, and then you take the badge to the Hunter's Dream, and then you can buy it. You unlock it. So, yeah. Fuck you, man. <laughs> okay. Quicksilver bullets. I do not need more Quicksilver bullets at this point. Files, that's really good. Um, I'm trying to think where else I should go. Like where where I should go from here. Well, it's pretty obvious, I guess. There's really only one way. I mean, there's a couple ways, but I think that door over there is the intended way. And we were just here. Hi, Death. Whoa. God damn it, man. How's it going? Pretty good. We're playing Bloodborne. Just going through. We're trying to get uh, to a specific part where I can get a weapon and then we're gonna play the entire rest of the game with that weapon. <laughs> I was kind of thinking about just going uh, fists only until I got that weapon and then I thought about it and I was like, ah, oh, fuck no. <laughs> that would take so long. That'd be so fucking painful. The absolute worst. So I, I kinda just was against it. Because you do have to fight uh, at least one boss beforehand, I think. And then also fighting the guy that you need to fight to get the weapon is uh, kind of a pain in the ass as well. Is this the right way? Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck you. I'm all mixed up. This, this leads back to the daughter, I'm pretty sure. The girl with the mu music box. <laughs> God damn it, man. And this is back at the beginning. Oh my God. 
Also, I have to pee, but I can't pause the game. <laughs> so, we're just gonna hold it for a little bit. Okay, there's nothing over here. Pebble. Okay. Okay, maybe not that way. Maybe this way? Yeah, this one. There's a giant pig there. Go to the spot where the woman killed you at, where the woman killed you was. That's not the way. That's uh, she just is like overlooking an area. This is the way. Okay. She might be looking at the bridge that I need to go across. But yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Two blood vials, two blood vials. Okay, cool. Didn't mean to do that. What even was that? How does... I think if you hold X and then you do a thing... Like, you move the, the PS4 controller because PS4 was like, Oh, look, we got motion controls! That's funny. Which I like that the PS4 controller has that. I like that, uh, but I don't really care for how they integrated a couple things. Like, I don't care for having a little touchpad on my controller. I think it's a little goofy. And I also don't care for this giant blue light that is there. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan. I don't need my controller to be having a fucking disco rave while I play a game. But I do appreciate that it has like uh, gyro controls and stuff. I think that's that's kind of an overlooked thing about a lot of games. Or a lot that that is overlooked in gaming. Not enough games use gyro or have the option to use gyro because gyro is pretty nice. Like in uh, Breath of the Wild they have gyro aiming. For when you're using your bow and it is so much nicer than just using a joystick it's so much more precise so yeah she's sleeping welcome okay home. no Good. what is it you did very well let me should i upgrade that or should i farewell good let me buy some blood vials. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna sit here. And then uh, I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> so I'll be right back.
That's the sounds that they make. Or they're like... That's why it looks stupid. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> turn it all up all the way. Whoa, I can hear you. Whoa, I can hear you. That's crazy. Whoa, I can hear you. That's crazy. I can hear you too. That's crazy. I can hear you too. Thanks. I can hear you too. I'm Thanks. glad that we can all have this conversation about I'm hearing glad each that other. We can all have this conversation I, you, you about hearing each other. You couldn't. You foot shouldn't fucking talk over me. That's no. Hey, fucking. Hey, man, bro. You can't. That's not. This is not a fucking conversation works. This is not a fucking conversation works. What are you doing? I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Drink some tea. Hang on. Calm down. Remember the teachings of Jesus. But that's okay. Oh, jeez. Can we disable it? All right, I'm back. Okay. Oh fuck! I just <laughs> I just remembered that I hang on. Old Hunter Bell. Okay. Um. Can I buy it here? No. That's for bosses and shit. I can buy it here. Put the tea in your body. The tea is cold. Did it play that again? <laughs> no way it fucking played that again. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, never mind. That's really fucking expensive. All of Eileen's uh, armor and shit is very expensive. But the repeating pistol is here. Which maybe is good. I don't actually know. There's also the Blade of Mercy, which is... Uh, it's a thing. <laughs> I don't really like it, but it's a cool weapon. It's a really edgy weapon. Well, not maybe it's not that edgy, but it's really like I don't know. You it's two knives that can combine into one, and the way it combines is pretty cool. It like you s slap the one knife onto the other and it like swings around and then I don't know. Bloodborne has a lot of shit then in real life wouldn't work or would be way too fucking dangerous to ever be normally used. Uh, but who gives a shit? Because it's cool. So yeah. Am I right? Hell yeah. Yeah. It's the same as like, I don't know, Dark Souls with giant fucking swords. They're way too big to ever be reasonably used. Like, they're way too heavy. They'd be way too exhausting. Uh, but they're fun. <laughs> and they're cool. Broke. I, I'm kind of broke at the moment, yeah. Hashtag grass is broke. I mean, hey, that would get me to... That would get people to give me money, so go ahead. Maybe. Maybe it would. Maybe it wouldn't. Might just get people to stare at me and be like, okay. And just not give me anything. Or laugh. Like, point and laugh. That'd be fun. That guy gave me four blood vials. That's pretty nice. Alright. These fucking glasses, dude. These grasses. Alright, let's go fight Gascoin. Gascoin, whatever. Here, watch this. This will be funny. <laughs> Stupid. 
Grass is ass. It's grassy ass. Get it right. Grass is ass doesn't make any sense. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, cool. What were those guys protecting? Even blood vials? Gold Hunter's Mark, okay. Which, that's a Homeward Bone, essentially. It's the exact same thing as a Homeward Bone in Dark Souls. Alright. Look, it's it's a priest cutting off a man's head. I think he's a priest. I mean, he's, a, he's father, right? I don't know. What a guy, yeah. all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. Some very nice looking leather. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's got poise. Sweet blood. Forgot. Oh, it seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> Alright. Bye bye, guys going. Hello, werewolf. I think. Yep. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> Ow. All right, bye bye, guys. Go on. <laughs> Odin tomb. Oh look, a floating brick. Nice. Yeah, I remember Gascon a lot better than Cleric Beast, if that wasn't obvious. <laughs> In fact, that might be one of the re like uh Lawrence. Is, is literally a reskin of Cleric Beast. Uh, he's a DLC boss. He's a flaming version of Cleric Beast. And uh, I fucking hate fighting him. And maybe it's because he's he's just like Cleric Beast and I don't really uh, like fighting Cleric Beast. I don't know. The giant like camera eating werewolf bosses aren't really my favorite. Also, there's a little note. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame and makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Heh. <laughs> Hmm. 
blood gym workshop tool. I'm not sure why there's a cutscene here. It's like so unusual. It's pretty. Some stuff on my screen. Now we can head over to the, uh, what's it called? Oh, hello. Forgot about you. <laughs> now I think we can head over to, uh, old Yarnum. And get the thing. get the weapon that we've been looking for which might i don't know how much i'll actually like love that weapon <laughs> it'll be interesting to see let me look over here real quick hello oh shit i don't have any ammo You have infinite boys. Ah, shit. What is the button to do the thing? That's what it is. an outfit somewhere. Okay, it's over there. And there's that thing. Which that is... Spoilers. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> We're switching back to the other hat. Um, maybe this way? I think this way. I think this is right. really fucking close. There's another NPC over to the left, but we're gonna go here first and just look around a little bit. Actually, we never mind. We need to go to the left. <laughs> I'm stupid. It's important that we go over to the left. Madman's knowledge. Hell yeah, brother. I don't. Rem I I don't remember if. Uh... I wonder, like, if you get enough insight. Can you see the amygdalas, or do you just have to get to a certain point in the game? 
Like, if you get enough insight with that... Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> if you get enough insight... Right now I have 8 insight. Uh, if you get enough, I'm wondering, like... Without progressing through the game... I'm wondering if you'll be able to see the amygdalas anyway, or I think you might have to kill Rom. I feel like you probably have to kill Rom. That's probably right. I think this guy is... I think this is Albert? And this guy's kind of a piece of shit. But you don't know that yet. <laughs> You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Yep. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Sure. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. It's an interesting guy. Wood needed. Wood needed. Thanks, Baker. We're about to get the, uh, thing. We're about to get the, uh, stake driver. Sort of. Kind of. We're in the area. <laughs> we're in that, we're in that neck of the woods. We'll get there eventually. It took longer than I expected, to be honest. We're two hours in and I still don't have it. <laughs> but it's okay. We're having a good old time. Okay, but we are at Old Yarnum, which is where the thing is. Is there nothing here? Okay, there is. I was like, what? Could have swore. Alright. I do have 7,960 blood echoes. This town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. That's the guy we need to kill. <laughs> Just by the way. I do think that's a cool little thing. Um, interaction. I like it a lot. The way that he talks to you up on the roof and then he starts shooting at you. And like the stuff that he says, it's pretty nice. Where's the doll at? Is she up here? 
Yeah, she is. I'm trying to think, should I get anything else or should I just level up? I mean... Man, shit's expensive. We'll just level up. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well, let me... All right. Let me, uh, give me a sec. <laughs> I'm going to look at what the stats are on the stick driver, what, like, the minimum stats are. Oh, you need 18 strength. Oops. <laughs> Farewell, good hunter. Save your money for outfit, because cool outfit. I already look pretty cool. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Now I, I already look pretty cool. Or waste money. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the main the main idea right now is just getting the weapon. So I'm not gonna worry too much. All right, let's go to old Yarnum. <sighs> I like the plague outfit better. Yeah, that's because you're edgy. I like the plague outfit too. <laughs> it's called the crow outfit, I think. I don't really know. It's got crow in it. I think like the main part is the crow feather garb. And yeah, the the mask is obviously based on a plague doctor mask. Hey. Fuck. All right. I missed out on that guy. That's fine. Hello. I call it the plague doctor outfit because it kind of it's kind of like what a plague doctor would look like. I mean, it uses the same mask design. I just said that. <laughs> I just said that earlier. <laughs> yeah, it uses uh it has a plague doctor mask. I don't know about the rest of it. The rest of it isn't really what a plague doctor would wear. It's all like crow feathers and shit. At least I don't think that's what they would wear. I don't know. Plague Doctors are kind of goofy. They're overdone at this point, I think. I like the way that this game mixed it up, though. Mixed up the design. They could have just had, like, a pretty basic-looking Plague Doctor mask and, like hood or some shit. Instead, they made it cool. Alright. It is really annoying that I can't just rest at the lantern. I have to teleport back to the hunter's dream, go through a cutscene, or not a cutscene, uh, go through a loading screen, then I gotta teleport, oh shit, 
Then I gotta teleport back here in order to uh, get things to reload. I didn't even see you. What the fuck? And now he's gonna start shooting at me. Ah, oh, fuck. Bloodstone shard. Cool, that's an upgrade material. I don't know what the quickest way. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot he does that. Pretty sure he's he's gonna yeah okay he's gonna blow those up when I'm right next to him yeah okay there we go <laughs> I'm gonna put the antidote thing right there because there's enemies in this area that can poison you and it's pretty annoying Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> A little bit. Hi, Alino. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. First time chatter. Wow. Ah, shit. 
We're doing a steak driver playthrough. I have to get it still. I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're almost there. Oh my god, there's so many dudes. Oh, I don't have any fucking ammo. <laughs> oh no. That's gonna be a problem, actually. Oh my god, dude. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. How many playthroughs have you done of this game? Uh, I have done... I think I've played through it twice. Ow. I've gone through the DLC once. I think. I think. Well, I'm going to go uh, make sure to buy the outfit and outstyle the world. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it, cat. I'll see you later. <laughs> Alright, there's that guy. Which is a bit of a problem. I want to play it, but unfortunately I don't have a PS4. <laughs> Just PC. Yeah, hopefully it does get a PC port. Uh somewhat soon. I'm, I'm hoping. You know, fingers crossed. It seems like it'd be a pretty decent time, I think, but I don't know. <laughs> Hi, gamer. Alright, we're gonna try and rush this guy. Uh, it might not work. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> Next time you dream, give some thought. <sighs> okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> you would. So grass, did it work? No. Uh, it would have maybe worked if uh, if we had ammo, if we had quicksilver bullets, but we didn't. Yeah, let's get this thing. Hello. Come here. All right. Maybe it would work if you had skill. Wow. 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 <laughs> I think I've been doing pretty good. So, uh... You shut up. <laughs> That's rude. Things have been going fairly well. That's not open from the side. Okay. Not having any bullets is kind of a big problem in Bloodborne. But yeah, I actually, uh, I didn't have a PC for a pretty long time. Uh... Or, sorry, I didn't have a PS4 for a pretty long time. Uh, I got one specifically so I could play Bloodborne. I bought it from a friend for, like, 200, I think. I think around there. Which I was like, that's a pretty, that's a pretty all right deal. That's pretty good. So, yeah. Um, I got it... I also ended up getting a PS3 uh, at another point so I could play Demon Souls. Because I wanted to play all the Souls games because I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> you know. Oh shit. I know, I'm sorry. That was quite rude of me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so uh, we're gonna do this. Now we got five bullets. This would be my first Souls game? Oh, wow. All right. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, I highly recommend the other games as well. I think Sekiro is really, really good. I think Elden Ring is amazing. Um, Dark Souls 3 is... Dark Souls 3 is pretty similar to this. It, it's similar feeling. Uh, as I can't play which... Uh, one would you recommend for me? Or would you recommend me? That's available for PC. Uh, it would probably be a toss-up between Dark Souls 3 and, uh, Elden Ring. Also, uh, I didn't read it earlier, sorry. But, uh, Satan said, uh, played a little DS3 because of this. Like, Dark Souls 3. So, yeah. <laughs> That's available for PC. Yes, Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3 are both on PC. This is really the only game that From Software wood needed <laughs> that from software has made in the past like i don't know how many years uh like modern from software this is the only game that they've made that's uh P ps exclusive i mean they remade demon souls another company remade demon souls and that is a ps5 exclusive but you don't really need to play demon souls demon souls is very old it's kind of like a cult classic thing it's a weird game And just like that, he's fucking dead. <laughs> nice. How does this thing work? Like, I mean, I guess you just sit on this and then... Do you stand on it? I don't know. But yeah, uh, Elden Ring is more modern uh, at this point. Like, it has a lot of quality of life things in it. Uh, and it's also probably more welcoming, maybe, to uh, beginners. But that's kind of hard to say as well. Because uh, I think that Dark Souls 3 is also a very good starting point for Souls games. Up to you. I'll just say up to you. Uh, you could play Dark Souls 3 or you could play Elden Ring. And that's out of reach. Give me a sec. Just give me a sec. Ah, my head. Ah, headache. Uh... <laughs> I'll start with DS3 then. All right. Dark Souls 3 is a really good game. I like it a lot. Uh, I think that Elden Ring, like, you know, El Elden Ring takes a lot from Dark Souls 3. And if you play Elden Ring after Dark Souls 3, you're definitely going to uh, notice a lot of, like, small things, like weapon arts and shit. D DS3 is the best Souls game to start with, if not Elden Ring. Yeah, I agree. I'd argue maybe that Dark Souls 3 is even better to start with because it's not so it's a smaller package you know it's a it's a more uh it's kind of like you know bloodborne is a smaller package elden ring is a massive open world dark souls 3 and these in this game are more condensed and that kind of makes it less stressful and and maybe more fun to certain people yeah, it's more linear, I feel that. Yeah, it's it's also more linear. Which is not a bad thing. I think that people uh, are a little too hard on it for that. Like, people like Dark Souls 3, but they also criticize that it's more linear than the other games. But I don't think that's a bad thing, because that allows for uh, a lot of... a lot more consistency when it comes to difficulty and, like... Uh how areas connect and shit. It's good. I think it's very good. Alright, we're just gonna... 
ignore this guy for a second. No, wait. <laughs> if you've played open world games, then play Elden Ring first. If you haven't played Dark Souls 3 first. I don't think I'd agree with that. I don't, I don't really like that idea, that take. Because... I don't know. It it doesn't really matter if you've played an open world game before. Uh, really? I tried Dark Souls three and didn't like it. That's interesting. Eh, I don't know. Like it it just doesn't make sense to me that just because you've played open world games before, you'd like Elden Ring more. Like a Souls game is a Souls game. You know, you you got to give it a try. And just because Elden Ring is a open world game, I don't think that makes it more accessible necessarily. <laughs> and then I started liking the other Souls game games. Uh, I'm not saying you'd like Elden Ring more, but it's easier to get the hang of. Maybe it's hard to say. It's hard for me to say, especially because I started with fucking Dark Souls 2. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it really matters what you've played before, necessarily. Uh, like, it matters, but it. I don't think that it's, like, a big deal, necessarily. Because Dark Souls 3 is... I think Dark Souls 3 is more representative of... Uh, what the classic Souls formula is, and then Elden Ring is an evolution of that. <laughs> because if you're stuck in Dark Souls 3, you can't just explore another area. Elden Ring gives you more freedom. I guess. I guess that's another way of looking at it. I'm not sure how you'd get stuck, uh, to be honest, though. Like... Like, in terms of difficulty? It eases you into the Souls games more? Maybe. I can't really speak to that at all. Ow. Oh, shit. Difficulty, yeah, because people usually have that complaint. Yeah, but I'd argue that Dark Souls 3 eases you more into... Uh, eases you into the difficulty better. Because Elden Ring, once you get to the end game, some of those bosses just kind of suddenly hit like a truck. But Elden Ring does give you more tools to work with as well. Uh, if you're having trouble. So I, I could I could see it going both ways is what I'm saying. I like how when a creature misses its hit, you say, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> Dumbest shit. <laughs> nah, DS3 force, forces you to fight a boss ten minutes in. I mean, so does Elden Ring. Both of them have tutorial bosses. Elden Ring. Uh, forces you to fight something. I don't know. Yeah, but you don't need to beat the tutorial boss. I guess, but I mean, I, I don't really, I don't get this I, argument. Because the tutorial boss in Dark Souls, in Dark Souls 3, is like it's a very short run to the boss it's a very forgiving boss it doesn't have very much health it just like i i can't really see someone having that much trouble with it like people if you're incompetent at video games then sure if you're just like really really bad but Udex gundir is not a hard fight I don't know. I just... I don't... 
understand how like the tutorial boss really plays into which game you should play first. I think that's just kind of uh, just such a small part of it. Dude. Hang on. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Fighting other actual hunters in this game is goofy. Fighting hunter bosses is really fun. Hang on. I've never really played Bloodborne, but just by watching, I feel like this game's atmosphere and aesthetic is just unmatched. I think it's a little overrated. Uh, like, people suck this game's dick a lot. <laughs> I think it has problems, but uh, I do think that it does have a very good, um, if you like this vibe, it's, it's, it's great. It's really, really well done. Buy me PS5, can't, way too expensive. Also, I don't even know if they're in stock. <laughs> Sorry, Hatter. Uh, uh, really, I've seen a decent amount of complaints about him. I haven't seen a whole lot outside of like, outside of those videos where it's like uh, a bunch of people that have never played the game, you know, where they're like, oh, what is this? I've never played this. And they're all just like sitting at a table playing it uh, and have no idea what they're doing. Like outside of that, I don't really see a whole lot of people having trouble with Gundyr. Gundir is not bad at all. I wouldn't say he's the best tutorial boss to get you into the game. Uh, I'd say, I think that Vort would have been a better tutorial boss, to be honest, because of just, Gundir turns into a, a sock puppet. <laughs> and I think that's not very representative of the rest of the game, but it's not like it's a huge deal, you know? Yeah, I love Victorian era stuff, architecture and so on. Yeah. But to learn the mechanics, I feel like giving them freedom to go fuck around is good. It can be, but it can also feel very aimless. Um, it can be like a little overwhelming. Uh, I don't know. DS3 doesn't have much leading up to the boss. I mean, there's still an entire area to explore. Like, all the enemies are the same. In the tutorial area? What are we talking about? Are we talking about, uh... In Lothric? In the very first area? Like, the first actual area? I think there's plenty of enemy variety there. I think there's plenty. There's that one giant knight that's walking around the fountain, uh, that you can engage or go, like, not engage. There's a bunch of those uh, thief guys that are really fast. There's those giant uh, skinny axe guys that have a slower move set. No, an untainted grave. I mean, I don't think it needs to because it's such a tiny little area. It has, uh, I think, does it have dogs? I don't remember, but it just has hollows. And then there's a side area where you can fight a big thing, a big monster, if you want to. Uh, the giant crystal lizard. There's no dog. Well, that's probably for the best, because dogs suck. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I don't think it's a problem. I think it works pretty well as a uh, tutorial. There's a lizard man and cloak guys. I'm pretty sure they're just hollows, but yeah. Why'd the sound stop? Where do what what happened? Why is the spooky sound here? All of them had the same moveset minus the crossbow guys. I mean, it's such a short area. I just, I still don't really see how this is like an argument. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't see that as a minus to the game at all. It's so tiny and you beat Gundir and then you go in and then you can talk to NPCs and you can get ready because you don't need to learn mechanics against them. I mean, you don't have to do that in Elden Ring, really, either. Elden Ring's tutorial, you can just completely fucking ignore. It, these games never force you to do anything. They just tell you things. And then you're expected to listen to them. That It doesn't hold your hand. And I think that's a good, a good representation of a Souls game. It's good that these games don't... Uh, hold your hand. I don't want them to, you know? I don't want them to be like, okay, stop the screen. Now hold the block button. This is what the block button does. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, now you have to jump over the, the boss. Elden Ring tutorial boss is much easier. I mean, depends on which tutorial boss you're talking about. If you're talking about, oh my God, this is so loud. <laughs> if you're talking about the, uh, the grafted scion, no, he isn't. <laughs> he fucking murders you. <laughs> uh, but if you're talking about fucking soldier... Uh, God, soldier of Rick. <laughs> then, yeah, he's he's kind of a fucking joke. He is a joke. You can just R1 spam against him. This is... I don't get this, this conversation. I, I don't see this as a plus or minus for either of these games. I think they're, they both have good tutorials. Oh my god, there's so many guys. If anything, I think that Gundir is a good uh, tutorial boss because it actually makes sure that you at least know how to fight an enemy before going out into the world. Like, Elden Ring's tutorial boss, I don't think having an easy tutorial boss is a massive plus. Elden Ring's tutorial boss is just a normal fucking enemy with a health bar that you actually, you don't have to like worry about anything when fighting him. His health is gone before you know it. I'm not saying that's what games should do. I'm just I'm saying that being able to go out and experience a bit more before being forced to fight. I don't know. I I I don't see a problem with that. Oh wow, nice. Oh god. Like, I could see it going either way. DS3 tutorial wasn't good, DS1 was better. I, I like DS3 uh, tutorial because it's so short and simple. I think that Dark Souls 1 does have a better tutorial, but... Eh. <laughs> Not a big deal to me. I started with Dark Souls 2 and uh, went through the game uh, and got to the final boss and all that stuff. Like, I, I played a lot of Dark Souls 2, but I don't think Dark Souls 2 does a good job at all of, like, making you learn the game. Oddly enough. I think that Dark Souls 2 has very, like, bad 
it just teaches you bad things. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 is the worst by far. Like, it's, it, yeah, it's just... I went through that entire game and I still sucked. <laughs> because you don't really ever need to get good at Dark Souls 2, I don't think. It's a very strange, uh... I don't know, the entire thing is just so strange. And ADP doesn't help with that at all. Not having iframes just taught me, okay, uh, let me just bullshit my way through all of this combat as much as possible. Would it be a bad idea for me to start from DS1? Uh, Lion might say yes. I would say probably not. I don't think that starting with Dark Souls 1 is that terrible of an idea. Uh, when Dark Souls 3 came out... <laughs> Hang on. When Dark Souls 3 came out, uh, a lot of people still recommended playing Dark Souls 1. Uh, and I think that Dark Souls 1 has a very good start to its game. It's just that the second half of Dark Souls 1 takes a pretty big nosedive in terms of, like, quality and stuff. Um... But that doesn't mean that Dark Souls 1 is a is a bad game. A lot of people still fucking love it. I still love it. I think it's a great game. Uh, it's just that there's like one area at the end that is kind of terrible. <laughs> Maybe two areas. You could you could argue too. Um, you could ar argue all of them are terrible. All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the person. It depends on the person playing and uh, what their play style is, what they're into, and all that shit. I think it's, it's also, it used to be harder to, it, on PC, it used to be harder to get into Dark Souls 1 because Dark Souls 1 had a terrible PC port. Uh... But now there's the remaster, and the remaster fixed everything. It, like, the original ran at 30 FPS. It just felt like shit. Uh, you had to get a mod to make it work. The online barely worked. Um, and, yeah. But the remaster has kind of fixed all that. Now the game runs super smooth, and, and yeah. Not gonna lie, I don't think there's a point to do it in order. I, yeah, unless you want to see where the games came from. Uh, like, if you want to see how they changed over time. I don't think there's a huge reason to do them in order. It's not like they have really a, much of a through line. I'm in Elden Ring 312. <laughs> I started with Dark Souls 2 because I had absolutely no one tell me anything about the series. And I just went, eh. I'll play Dark Souls 2. I remember seeing a streamer play it one time and it looked kind of neat. Not the best starting point, uh, but I did... I don't know. I I didn't hate it. Dark Souls 2 is definitely the lowest quality. It's like the black sheep. Everyone calls it the black sheep of the series. Um, But that doesn't mean it's like the worst game ever. I just think there's a ton of problems with it that just aren't there in the other games. So how I played the games was I played Dark Souls 2. I started Dark Souls 1. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard for me to remember. I'd actually have to look at uh, my buying my purchase history of when I bought all these things. But I played Dark Souls 2. I got almost all the way through it. I didn't play the DLC. I just uh, like got to the final boss and kind of beat it uh and then i played dark souls 3 and i immediately fell in love with dark souls 3 and i played the shit out of it and i went through like new game plus like twice <laughs> i just really really enjoyed it it's probably because it felt so much better than dark souls 2 in terms of gameplay and then after that i played dark souls 1 but Dark Souls 1, the first time that I went through it, 
it was on prepare to die edition which is the shitty pc port so it was at 30 fps and i was wondering why i was just not having a good time because the game just runs like shit now there's the remaster and the remaster fixes everything essentially it changes a few things with the art style but it's not a big deal in my opinion i think it's like even not even noticeable really i don't have a problem with it at all because the game already like the art style wasn't like extremely strong in dark souls 1 it was just a decent looking game uh it had a few nice looking spots and it had like a few good things but uh it changing the lighting and stuff wasn't the biggest deal ever it's not like bloodborne where it has a completely consistent beautiful art style or whatever um that's not to say it's an ugly game but i mean you know it's just not that big of a deal especially when it's just a slight change uh hi fear how's it going which one is your favorite uh at this point i'd probably say elden ring i i really like elden ring it has so many quality of life changes that i just can't really go back to the other games and really love them <laughs> i mean well okay i take that back i can go back to dark souls 3 and really love it and dark souls 1 and really love it but it's like there's just a few things like when i go from elden ring to dark souls 3 where i'm just like man i really wish i was playing elden ring right now <laughs> it's kind of weird it might be because elden ring and dark souls 3 are so jesus it might be because elden ring and dark souls 3 are so similar in a lot of ways that it's very noticeable when like a quality of life change is is there uh because i go back to dark souls 1 and i don't really have that problem i think it's just because they're so similar very much so yeah dark souls 3 and elden ring are definitely the most similar of all of these games uh and that's not a bad thing it's just like pretty clear that elden ring is a evolution of dark souls 3 especially including elden ring or just dark souls games I, yeah i assumed he was talking about all of them if i needed to rank the dark souls games like one two and three i would probably just it's a pretty easy ranking uh i would put dark souls 3 then dark souls 1 then dark souls 2 because dark souls 1 is a great game that i i love uh yeah 3 1 2 yeah i i love dark souls 1 a lot in a lot of ways it's just that that second half of the game after Anne orlando and after Warren and smo just parts of it just take such a massive nosedive and it's really sad Lost Isolith is just a fucking nightmare. Um, at least, like, the later later part of Lost Isolith is a nightmare. Tomb of the Giants isn't that bad. Duke's Archives isn't that bad. Uh, I'd argue that uh, New Londo is actually pretty good. I like New Londo. It's a fun area. It's pretty cool. Quality of life changes make a ton of difference. They do yeah elden ring is a very like it's a very polished very refined experience that a lot of people love like hang on <laughs> there are some people that uh rag on elden ring for various like small things but i'd, I'd argue that for the most part they're just nitpicks like People say that Elden Ring has uh, a bad New Game Plus because there's just way too much. It just doesn't work as well for an open world game. And I kind of agree. I I have not gone through Elden Ring nearly as many times as Dark Souls 3. But that's not really a big, like, that's not a massive issue. Your first playthrough of Elden Ring is amazing. And then on your second playthrough, you can just go through the main points of the game. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. I think uh, I think the biggest uh, thing that people do that is kind of stupid is try to redo every piece of side content on a second playthrough. There's no reason 
<laughs> there's no reason to redo the side content like you've already gotten all that shit you can do it if it's fun uh i've redone random bits of side content because i just enjoy them uh but yeah it's i don't know it's probably just uh because there's literally so much yeah there's there's shit ton of content I'm out grass. See you tomorrow <laughs> or whenever. All right. See you later, Satan. Nice talking with you as always. But yeah, um, that Elden Ring has a massive amount of content, and I guess you could argue that's kind of a double-edged sword. But I think it's for the better. I think that Elden Ring is a very well-designed, amazing game. And it has a dedicated jump button. You want you know what you gotta do in this game if you wanna jump? You gotta sprint and then quickly press B. Or not B. You got okay, so the sprint button and the dodge button are circle. You gotta sprint and then you gotta quickly press circle again, which is very annoying because if you're running past enemies or running around, just in general, and then an enemy tries to take a swipe at you. You try to dodge, and then uh, you will jump and get hit, because your character is a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, one of my biggest gripes with this game, it can get you killed. Yeah, that's one of the nicest things about uh, the Dark Souls 1 remaster, actually. You can rebind uh, your controls. Have you played Lords of the Fallen yet? I have not. I'm probably, if I play a Souls-like, it'll probably be Lies of P instead of Lords of the Fallen. Uh, it's an interesting game, and I was kind of hyped for it at first. But as I found more things out about the game, like as I saw reviews and stuff, um, it's, it's just got a lot of issues, and it doesn't really seem like a, my kind of game in the end. Like, it... Apparently, enemy spam is a big problem in it. Um... Man, I'm just going in a fucking circle. <laughs> enemy spam is a huge problem in it. A lot of the layouts of like how enemies are set up in, in areas is similar from area to area. I don't know. It's... There's a lot of platforming in it for some reason. Even though it doesn't have a dedicated jump button. It has a jump button similar to this game in Dark Souls 3. I agree, even in Dark Souls 3, you can change the binds. Yeah. Well, can you? I never actually... I mean, I never tried in Dark Souls 3. That's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, I hear more... Uh, positive things about Liza P. Yeah. Uh, Liza P, apparently, is a really good game. And it's got a similar vibe to Bloodborne, which is funny. It still has, when I look at Lies of P, I still see, like, that, uh, kind of Square Enix style, where, like, all of the characters are really pretty and kind of look anime-ish, and all that shit. <laughs> uh, which kind of bugs me. It, I, I enjoy From Software style more, where characters can look kind of gross and like more realistic and weird and uh i don't know it just it just has a more realistic vibe about it in my mind um but it's not an issue really lesbian is not without its flaws definitely uh a ton of from software influence yeah i i was watching another streamer um I think her name's uh it's micro and she's been playing lies of p and uh she was going through an area that seems kind of fucking horrible <laughs> it seems like a terrible time <laughs> um which is not you know that doesn't seem great uh, uh, it's not a... Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Bro. I 
I need ammo. Alright. Same for me. Um, if I could describe it bluntly, it's like Bloodborne and Sekiro had a love, love child and Dark Souls sprinkled some DNA in there. <laughs> it's a funny way of putting it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard that the parrying system is really nice. It actually, like, did a good job with that. Um, which I'm... I'm all for. I love Sekiro. Uh, on repeated playthroughs, Sekiro is a little wacky sometimes because there's so much dialogue you got to go through. Uh, but it's still a really good game. I think my first playthrough of it was definitely the best. It's just really fun. It has a very, very, like, fluid and just amazing feeling combat system. Wow, I'm fucking covered in blood. <laughs> Jesus. We really haven't needed to go this way, but I mean, <laughs> we could keep on going. We could fight the blood starved beast. Might be a bad idea because I got a lot of blood echoes, but We'll be fine. Well, okay. I forgot that you jump out of the door. <laughs> that kind of scared the shit out of me. This is one thing. I think it's right here. Oh, he's up there. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I never knew that. I thought he always just teleported in here from nowhere. I guess he drops down. But, there, you know, you're here, and then there's uh, no werewolf. And you go over here, and you're like, ooh, item. And then it's like, werewolf. <laughs> Okay, Jesus. Like, there's no sound that kind of signifies that he's jumped down or anything. It's so weird. I'm glad that From Software doesn't do that a whole lot, but when they do it, it's kind of just funny. Where enemies just kind of spawn in behind you or whatever to trick you. I guess he didn't really spawn in, though. He was just up on the roof. Uh, it's growing on me, though. That's fair. No, he's a stealthy bastard. <laughs> he is a total piece of shit. I wonder if there's a way you could come up behind this guy. Like, if he's just waiting at this door. Probably not. Hello. Fuck you. <laughs> Forgot about you. God damn it. There's a shortcut up there. However, yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's a one-way shortcut. Yeah, it is. It's one of those does not open from this side. He just seems to be outside when you approach him from that way. Huh. <laughs> well. That sucks. <laughs> I know that there's a way you can get into old Yarnum, 
uh, the other way, like going around. I think you have to fight the electric dog thing uh, to do it. Actually, yeah, this is a great shortcut. We're going to go here. Uh, but yeah, you can go around and then you can actually talk to Jura, whatever his name is. Dead, what, I don't know. The, the guy that shoots you with the Gatling gun. You can actually just talk to him and he's like, chill. It's really interesting. <laughs> it's kind of a crazy thing that you can do that. Yeah, Jura. Okay, yeah. I've never actually done it because I'm too impatient. And I just want to go through this area. This is only if you don't fight Bloodstar Beast. Okay. Huh. Hang on. We're gonna... Okay. Now we're finally gonna do the thing. <laughs> we're gonna use the weapon that we've been talking about. Oh, we gotta level up a little bit. Hang on. Welcome. What is it? That's the that's the entire reason that I'm playing Bloodborne, is because we're doing this stupid run where I'm gonna use the stake driver the entire time because it sounded like fun. <laughs> that's smaller than I remember it being. Huh. This might be fun. It's basically a pile a pile bunker from uh, Armored Core. Like it's essentially the same shit. And that's really funny. <laughs> Cuz I never thought about that uh when I originally played it. When I originally played this game, I had no like but now having played Armored Core 6 and like the other Armored Core games and then seeing it, it's pretty it's basically a pile bunker. Exciting. I've thought about doing a stake driver run. Yeah, it seemed like it would be fun. All right. All right. Let's uh, go back over to... Should we go to Old Yarnum? Should we fight the Bloodstar Beast? Let's fight the, uh, the Bloodstar Beast. You will notice they tend to reuse some assets, weapon arts, uh, Ashes of War, etc. What, in, uh, like, from, from game to game? Yeah, I think everybody knows. <laughs> it's pretty clear, like, uh, how Elden Ring has reused a lot of aspects from uh, Dark Souls 3, but... Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, at the end of the day, if they're used uh, in like a really good way who cares right like uh if the enemies are given new models if they're uh expanded upon um i think that's the biggest reason why people don't really mind with elden ring is because they if they do reuse something usually they add on to it a little bit I'm not complaining. It's uh, nice to see they've refined things. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That's not bad. Okay, let me... If I just heavy attack... Okay. What happens if I heavy attack just doing this? Okay. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> This is going to be hard. <sighs> Fuck. 
Fuck, dude. That is so slow. <laughs> All right, let's just do the normal one. All right, well, that hit. I did it. That was weird. I don't know. Shorter range than I would have expected. Yeah, they really... Uh, I mean, it's the highest damage... Uh, ...weapon in the game. <laughs> You just gotta be right on your enemy. Uh... Which is kinda hard to do. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Slow poisoning. Damn. I wonder what, like, the transformation moves. Eh, they're pretty... mid. Okay. Basically hugging? Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, it's, uh... <laughs> it's alright. We'll get used to it. Okay. Old Hunter's Mark. Oh yeah, we can summon Alfred, that's funny. We're not doing that. Ten years of craft craftsmanship. Yeah, well, more than that. From Software has been around for a surprisingly long time. They just kind of blew up after uh, Dark Souls. It's nice that they're also like returning to their roots a little bit with uh, with the uh, Armored Core Six. Armored Core 6 is fucking amazing. Yeah, I'm sure my by mid to end playthrough you're gonna gonna be a regular powder keg <laughs> powder keg hunter, maybe. It'll be interesting. I'm probably gonna get the cannon <laughs> instead of uh the blunderbuss, but who knows. Okay, let's cheese this boss. so slow and I'm stupid this might not go super well <laughs> What's over there? <laughs> Whoa, what's on the wall? Oh shit. Oh shit. Ow. 
Hang on, hang on, give me a sec. Oh shit, god damn it, man. Ah, what the fuck? Oh fuck. All right. One more. Oh shit, what the fuck? All right, I fucked that up. One hit and I'm poisoned. Thought Kirk hammer was slow. Yeah, this is really fucking slow. <laughs> gonna do it, buddy. Oh god. Oh god. What's this? Antidote. All right, that's nice. What are you doing? Shut up. <laughs> I'm winning. Oh god, he is fucking me up though, like with that poison. Oh fuck. No! Shit. Okay. Well. <laughs> it's really, really close. If she just stops out of nowhere, get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Mission failed. We'll go next time. I'll be honest, I didn't even know that uh, Bloodstarred Beast had a uh, grab attack. <laughs> All right, well, no more cheesing that boss. We got to play it legit now. We used up all of our blood cocktails. Pretty funny. <laughs> I hate that move. I'm I like I to be honest, I thought that it was just a normal move. I didn't even really see it coming. I'm not sure what to even look for, but I guess Oh my god. There's the jump again. Uh, I guess... Uh, if she just stops moving out of nowhere, then that's what that means. Oh, there's a little guy. Hello. Okay. So, a little bit of a problem with that poison. Use a beast blood pellet. It's easy. I don't even know what these really do. <laughs> I think that they increase your damage a little bit. Grants a spurt of beasthood. Invigorates one sense of beasthood, feeding strength, and euphoric feeling like... Okay, yeah, I think it increases damage a little bit. A lot of bit? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Love it when my lock on breaks for no real reason.
Man, <laughs> that is so, so little range. Like, it's insane how little range you get. Like, doing the uncharged variant is pretty good. Let's look at how much damage that does exactly. That does 122. So that's... I think that's basically just a normal... thing. Like, a normal amount. Yeah, that's basically a normal amount for heavy attack. Nope. I'll get used to it. It's fine. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. They also take increased damage. Oh. <laughs> Apologies if it come off like a backseat. No, you're good. Man, the range on that thing is underwhelming. A little bit. I mean, it's it's basically I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have very much range. It's basically like a knife. Eh, it's, it's, I mean, it's not like a knife, but it, it's like a short sword. Also, it looks cool, so, I mean, yeah. We might need to level up a little bit more before... Here's the, the other thing that I'm not really a big fan of with Bloodborne. If I want to keep on trying at this boss, I can't just bang my head against it. Uh, I have to go farm Blood Vials. So yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I don't like farming blood vials. Ah, shit. I think that's very annoying. Ah, shit. How the fuck did that manage to hit? <laughs> what the fuck? Me neither, I just buy them. Yeah, but sometimes you just don't have any uh, blood echoes. You, like, when I was fighting Orphan of Cause. I mean, also, the cost of blood vials uh, goes up over the course of the game. Sounds tedious as fuck, yeah. Yeah, it's a really fucking cool looking weapon. Like, I think it's, uh, it's surprisingly not like, I, for some reason in my head, I remembered it being so ridiculous, like ridiculously big, but it's actually like a pretty good size. <laughs> it's like, it's small enough to not seem to be believable. It's weird. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, let's try this. Let's try and always stay behind this guy.
damn. Man, thank you. I learned how to backstab Orphan of Cause. I'm pretty good at backstabbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was a backstab. Damn. I don't know what you're doing, but you're getting backstabbed. <laughs> We took no damage. <laughs> we took zero damage. <laughs> we didn't even get poisons. I don't even know uh, that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's surprising. <sighs> Also, one of the reasons, uh, I mentioned backstabbing Orphan of Cause, one of the reasons why I had to learn that was because, uh, first time I played the DLC, it was in New Game Plus. I didn't remember that it was in New Game Plus, but it was. So, Orphan of Cause was even harder than he should have been. <laughs> so... <laughs> But I still had a good time. I thought the DLC was great. I had a really good time. It's just uh, Orphan of Cause was a bastard. <laughs> so I don't, I don't actually know how hard uh, Orphan of Cause really is. Yeah, I hate that they just throw you into it. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Um. I think that the only games that do that are Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne. I think Dark Souls 2 actually lets you make the decision, and then Dark Souls 3 does, and then Elden Ring does, and all that, which is nice. Sekiro even does it. You shouldn't have as hard of a time. Uh, let's put it that way. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Let's see if we can upgrade this more. We cannot. Twin Bloodstone Shards. Oh yeah, another thing I like that they have in uh, Elden Ring. The Hand Lantern. Or, well, it's just a lantern in Elden Ring. But in Elden Ring, there's actually like dark areas that you can't see shit without light. And they added a lantern, and there's actually a reason to use it. So you can have the lantern on your hip, and then you can just, you can you still use your two-handed weapon. It's really nice. <laughs> uh, in this game, it's kind of pointless. 
Yeah, I, there's no reason to use it. It's just fun. It's just cool. But still. It made me really happy. It's great, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that I can buy any upgrade materials. That sucks. That seems weird. No area is dark enough, plus you have this little aura. Yeah. They did the same shit in Dark Souls 2, where they lightened everything up too much, so you didn't even need to use the torches. But they, like, when they were releasing Dark Souls 2, they were like, oh, look at our cool lighting system! And then that ended up being a non-playable version of the game. Uh, because it just couldn't run. <laughs> It it could not run on an Xbox 360. It love Dark Souls too. <laughs> Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let. All right. Let's increase vitality. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking You can world. later down the road when you don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they didn't want to just give them to you yet. Um, Let's go to... I think we just need to go to Cathedral Ward. And then we'll probably end stream with uh, Vicar Amelia if I can get there fast enough. We got like 35-ish minutes. Yeah, we got 35 minutes left. I usually stream for like four hours. So yeah, sometimes I extend that, but it depends. Like when Armored Core came out, I extended it. When I play Rain World, I usually extend it because I'm stupid. <laughs> if I was playing this game for the first time, then uh, I'd probably extend it. I extend it a lot. I have yet to play that one myself, but I'm under the impression it's better than some people lead on. Uh, are you talking about Dark Souls 2? Dark Souls 2, like... It's not a bad game, it's just there's so many little things about it that annoy me. And there's also, like, the enemy layout is painful sometimes. Some areas are just so so annoyingly laid out. I'm not getting kidnapped today. Hopefully. Oh god, please don't kidnap me. Oh god. Come on, man. Ah, uh, come on, man. It's so precise. Oh. Okay, there we go. Gang City, I've been told. Yeah. Like, it's not a terrible game, but I just, in comparison to the other Souls games, I just really don't care for it. It was my first Souls game, which is, you know, it makes it pretty funny that it's my least favorite. <laughs> Uh, what's Rain World? Rain World is a very strange platformer game that is kind of, it's got like, it's, it's all over the place with like its inspirations and the type of game it is. It's a very, very unique experience. Cool. All right, poise. Forgot you guys have that. Here, watch this. Shit. <laughs> Never mind. I'll have to look into that. I, every time I play it, uh, there's like a lot of very specific people that watch me play it because I have gone through it entirely on stream. So people have kind of 
Oh, wooden shield, nice. Um, it's like just some people have followed me because of Rain World at this point. Uh, and I like it a lot. I think it's a really, really special, really cool game. But uh, it's not a game I can recommend to people because it is so weird in its design. And sometimes it feels so stupid <laughs> and like such a dick move uh, that I don't know. It's just like, you know, there's parts where I'm like, man, I hate this game, but I don't really hate it, but I kind of hate it. <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's, it's something that I just can't recommend to everyone. Or very many people at all, for that matter. But I do love it. So far, uh, Stake Driver's pretty alright. Whoop. Okay. Okay. I do wish that it had more range on certain attacks. But, uh... I don't know. It's pretty fun. I wish that did more damage. Like the non-charged strong attack. I wish that did more damage because that didn't really do much at all. <laughs> the fucking machine gun guys just laughing. They're just cranking their machine gun just like <laughs> It's so funny. Stupid. Ow. Oh my god. I didn't expect that to push me that far. Wow. Jesus Christ. No, not the wheels. <laughs> Sadly, yes, the wheels. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Wait, this is the wrong way. <laughs> this way. You like my grasses? picked them out because I thought they looked funny. <laughs> Hang on, give me one sec. There's a thing there. Where's his lead? I don't remember this. I just noticed. Yeah. I thought they were funny. <laughs> Goes with your mo motif. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Formless Odin. Okay. Messenger Urn Festival. Okay. Cute. <laughs> Whoop. Just shatter my ankles and I'm in bed for the rest of the game. <sighs> Alright. My leg. <laughs> this fucking SpongeBob guy who's always in the background. Just my leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> Jesus. You know, yeah. <laughs> I have a couple friends that do nothing but make stupid references like that. Baker is one of them. Anything useful in here, or is it just shit? Blood tinged gemstone. Okay. Man, sounds like my type of individual. <laughs> it's pretty alright. There's plenty of times where I'm just like Baker. <laughs> Stop. Oh God, hang on. Oh my god. Interrupted. There's not even enough time. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hang on. Let's just let's just let's do this. Hang on. Ow. Okay. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> that feel when you get hit by the fucking stake driver. <laughs> of all things. Screenshot and I'll go back. Nah, you can you can go back in the stream. Just clip it and then you can screenshot it. I was just enjoying some early game Bloodborne play from this kind fellow here. <laughs> from this kind fellow. Yeah. Some stake driver time. This ladder in real life would be fucking terrifying. But that's all right. Yeah, he's some type of fellow. <laughs> the sky and the cosmos are one, the choir. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I know what that means. Thick cold blood, okay. Oh, hello. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That laugh though. Yeah, sounds like a great guy. Radiant Sword Hunter, Hunter Badge. Okay, that's where you get that. <laughs> oh, there's bones in these. Oh, that's disrespectful. My bad. Locked. Okay. That's basically... That's, that's kind of fucked up then. <laughs> It's basically just, uh, what's the word? Fucking with someone's grave. Grave robbing, I don't know. It's pretty fucked up, though. Whatever it is, whatever it's called. I'm a good guy in this game. I'm the good guy. I'm the protagonist. I, I need to not do that. I need to set an example. Or whatever. All right, we're gonna go this way and we're gonna jump down here. Ouch. 
Desecrating. Yeah, desecrating. That's the word. <sighs> and here's the mandatory from software falling part. <laughs> Which is great. Wait, did you get the litter shitter of with the twin bloods? The litter shitter? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what you're talking about. The litter shitter. It sounds funny though. Oh, the little shitter. <laughs> little, my apologies. Wandering nightmare or whatever. I don't think so. I'm not, I don't know. Messenger top hat, hell yeah. All worth it. Sounds like a cat when you put it like that. <laughs> it kind of does. I don't know. All right, now where? Never mind, I can see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not completely sure to be honest. Loud. Ah, it's the goat. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> It's, it's too slow to be used in any, like, real practical way. But maybe it'll be good for certain bosses. Oh, that didn't kill him. Okay, just fell through the floor. Nice. All right, this leads here. I don't know if I want to be here. No, I'm not getting fucking force pulled, my guy. God. Dude, I'm telling you to throw an oil pot on something and hit it with that. Do blade, do blade damage, oh. <laughs> or double damage rather. Damage, damage you. Oh my God. That's uh, not a bad idea. I don't know if it counts as fire damage though. Does it? I wonder, like, it doesn't say here, but maybe the attack does? Maybe the... it does. Maybe not. No, nah, well, I, it, it wouldn't say if the uh, charged attack does or not. So it might. There's a chance. Oh, shit. The charge attack probably does. I would guess.
Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna risk anything. I don't want to lose all man sight. It seems like the maybe it's the fourth attack or the third attack. Hang on. Maybe the third attack or the fourth attack. I don't know. It seems like the one of those does more damage than the rest, which is kind of nice. I don't know if it's the same way and. It probably is the same way with other weapons, but it's it's more noticeable with this one. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Look at that hoodlum, yeah. I don't know if those guys are called bra are they called brain suckers or are they called uh mind flares in this? I think they might be called mind flares. They're gross. They'll suck you dry if you let him. Kinda like my ex-wife. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, man. Can't believe this shit. Did I open that? Brain suckers. Oh are they okay. A little less cool. Thank you for the clip, Baker. <laughs> Black messenger hat. Cool. It's cute that you can put outfits on the messengers. It's really, it's a nice little thing. All right, let's go fuck up Vicar Amelia. Yeah, yeah, point at me and shit. Let's see what I care. Actually, hang on. I should probably... I should probably upgrade my weapon. Yeah, neat little feature. Yeah, like they, they did not have to do that at all. It doesn't even really seem like something that From Software would normally do. But... They did it. And that's pretty cute. Also, we found the, um, hidden one, the hidden outfit, the best outfit. <laughs> Those little guys will grow on you, grow on you, I tell you. Although I'm not going to lie, that first cutscene, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> Eh, they're not that bad. Oh, they just crawl all over your face and shit. It's kind of weird, but... It's not the worst thing ever. Bunch of potheads. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um... What's the thing at? Because you, you actually do have to repair your weapons in this game, because that's another thing that exists for some reason. I forgot about blood gym fortification. Ah, shit. This is a part of Bloodborne I'm not really a huge fan of. Let's be honest. Unfortunately, yeah. Elden Ring got it right there for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, Dark Souls 3 did too, because Dark Souls 3 has durability, but you don't even realize because it literally your weapons never break it's almost impossible for your weapons to break it's kind of insane hmm 
Hmm. Well, we can't upgrade. So I guess we'll just uh, level up. Welcome home, good hunter. Oh what man, you desire? I love the blood gym fortification system. I just like I don't know. I just don't care for it personally. It's not my thing. I guess it's just weird to me. Uh oh yeah, for I meant to ask, are you going to be playing this pretty regularly? Uh probably yeah, in the coming like couple weeks. Uh, I'm not gonna be playing tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be continuing this playthrough definitely. I'm not gonna just stop, you know. Oh shit! Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Bear seek seek less. Shut the fuck up, Baker. <laughs> Give me a sec. Huh. Weird. But yeah, thank you for the follow, Fear. I appreciate it. No problem, oh man. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to quickly go ahead and end off with uh, Vic Armelia. I probably should have bought, bought more blood vials. Yeah, well, it's fine. Vic Armelia is not that bad. Well, not usually. I think. Man, I'm hungry. I didn't eat like a very big dinner. You can purchase some fire paper too now. That's true. I am going to do that a little bit. I'm gonna probably use that against Vicar Amelia. I'm probably gonna do this. Oh, I don't have any oil, do I? Hang on, man. I'm trying to look through my inventory. God damn it. Numbing mist, fire paper, ba ba ba. I don't see it. Oh well. That's fine. Oh, you're stalked? Yeah, I'm good. I'm pretty alright. That's a lot of shit. Oh. Hang on, boys. Oh, God. Wow, that's a lot of madman's knowledge. That's a... Okay. I expected more variety, to be honest. That's okay. It's not bad. Six blood vials, that's good. Okay. Hello. Nice wood steak thing. I'm invulnerable, my guy. <laughs> Later. Wait, what materials do you need to upgrade? 20 twin twins? I don't know. To be honest. But it's fine. It'll be fine. That numbing mist is going to come in clutch. I don't remember what it even does. Prevents HP restoration. actually kind of cool how they did this cutscene. I like it. 
<laughs> they like use the shadow to switch between character models between her in this form and then her in a wolf form I don't know it's pretty neat <laughs> One of five in the game, but still fire. One of five in the game? What do you mean? Scary? Nah. Kinda. A little bit. I don't know. It'd be pretty terrifying. Some nice film techniques. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. My main issue with this fight... I like this fight for the most part. My main issue is just... uh. The camera is way too fucking close to your character. <laughs> Ow. You can barely see what- and also all of the hair. You can barely see what's going on sometimes. wasn't charged. This thing kind of slaps <laughs> against bigger bosses that don't move a ton. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Took out all my health. That's fine. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's good. That's fine. We almost had it first try. And the limb break system. Fuck yeah, buddy. Yeah, maybe I should have uh, switched sides. Like gone for the left side and then started going for the right side. Instead, I just stayed on the left side the entire time. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. She's got a lot of health. Smart man. No. No, I have an average. I have an average sized brain. I think. Hopefully. Hi, Amelia. Ow.
that didn't hit. <laughs> Shit, wasn't charged. Fucked that up. Fucked that up. I don't like this. Man, I used up my blood vials. Ah, fuck. There's no way I'm beating this with this many blood vials. What happened? God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> All right, boys. Last chance. Okay, all right. Okay, we might have to get out of here. <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> I need to see how many blood vials I even have. Oof. All Bloodborne is is screaming. A little bit. <laughs> Let me uh, check how many. I have zero blood files. Holy shit. Um... Ow. Blood files? Nope. Okay. Hurts even more watching it done to someone else besides me. What, dying to Vicar Amelia? Well, okay. Have him lurch with the walking stick over here. They're just goofy boys. They're just silly boys. Damn it. Okay, of course there's a fucking dog. And there's a gunner. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you up there. Oh, you asshole. Ah, uh, that's really bad. I wonder what Miyazaki's favorite Souls game is. Probably Elden Ring. I'm pretty sure Elden Ring was everything that he wanted it to be. He said it was his ideal game. Uh, but he wouldn't be able to really play it because he designed it. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. You can farm blood vials easier in Central Yarnum. I guess that's... That's probably true. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Boom, boom. Oh, shit. 
Ah, fuck. God damn it, man. How did I miss? He's giant. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, his gun is serious too. <laughs> Specifically getting jumped on by Vic Armelia. Yeah. Not a good feeling. We'll probably go to Central Yarnum after this, or we might just buy Blood Vials. That's not a bad idea. I'm doing good. How's BB treating you? Uh. It's, it's all right. <laughs> I mean, we're doing, this is a stake driver playthrough. I've played through BB before, uh, Bloodborne before. This is not my first, you know, rodeo or whatever, but you know, <laughs> ran out of blood vials. Oh. I was gonna ask, why were you farming blood vials? Yeah. God damn it. Can you get can you break these guys' limbs or not? Okay. Three. Pretty good. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna buy them. <laughs> Bear, uh, farming is way too annoying. Uh, do you know how to get to the abandoned hunter's workshop? I do. I completely forgot. Um, I was gonna, I, I was thinking about going there and then I got sidetracked and then, uh, now I'm just not going there anymore. Or whatever. I don't know what's wrong with you, but... <laughs> Thank you for standing still. <laughs> that was very kind. During certain moves, the bones pop out of their knees, and if you hit them, it staggers them for a vis visceral. That sounds... Fake. <laughs> that does that doesn't sound real. Are you sure? That sounds that sounds like I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't troll you guy. I mean it just doesn't it just I don't know, it just doesn't sound real. <laughs> it just doesn't. Like, if you look at the bones, you'll notice that they pop out when he's doing certain moves. <laughs> it's like, wow, really? I didn't know this game was that high tech. Oh my god. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll look for it. I'll see if that's, if that is really true. I don't think you troll me, but I just find it hard to believe. I mean, they have a whole limb break system. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I just don't imagine them having that kind of uh, thing set up, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, because that seems pretty like, I don't know. Game development is often just a fucking mess. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I almost find it, like, hard to believe that they would communicate with the guys. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, enough. Enough talk about that. Give me a sec. Yeah, he's, he, he lifted up his head. He knows I'm here, but he doesn't mind. Uh, 
I'm watching his knees. That doesn't make any sense. That seems like more of a fuck up than an intentional feature. <laughs> There's no wound. There's no, like, that would, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> There's no wound for the bone to come out of. That, it just clips through. Okay, Miyazaki. All right. Okay. Hey, I don't make the rules guy, but it's gross as fuck. <laughs> Maybe they just don't have any blood. Well, no, when you hit them, blood spews out. That's how it's called Bloodborne. I don't know. Like an episode of Scarred or something. I don't know what that is. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Okay, let's go. Just go over here. You know, for a place that's apparently safe, Odin Chapel doesn't have, like, really any thing keeping things out. I mean, it does. Apparently, it has, like, a scent. But I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know. It doesn't seem very realistic to me. Seems kind of bullshit. They have incense? Yeah, I remember. I remember. But is incense really enough? Patchouli, I think. Alright, I don't know what the fuck we're talking about anymore. What the fuck is patchouli? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright, I can't upgrade it anymore. I need twin bloodstone shards. I mean, they valid as long as they don't step outside the chapel. Yeah, alright, fair enough. <laughs> alright, I can buy 25. And I did. This gives us a couple more attempts against uh, Amelia. It's really annoying. That's probably my least favorite part of Bloodborne, is the Blood Vial system. It's it's not a very fun system. It kind of requires you. I mean, I guess it, it punishes players for running past. You could upgrade your weapon pretty quick. I, I don't have any uh, upgrades. I don't have, I don't have, or not upgrades, I don't have any materials. But it's fine. And don't backseat and tell me where I can upgrade them. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, it punishes players for uh, running past enemies and stuff. Which, I mean, that's kind of fair in a way. But it's also kind of stupid. You felt it coming? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I sensed it. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Alright, let's fight Amelia. Um This will be good. <laughs> Gotta hit them chalice dungeons. Oh fuck those things. <laughs> No fucking way I'm doing those. Ah, oh, shit.
<laughs> Legit grinding through them right now. They're so painful. <laughs> you only have to do the, the whole dungeon. It's like two thirds of one at best. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. I refuse. I don't wanna. It's annoying. That's like side content to me. I shouldn't have to be forced. I should just be able to go through my game and be a piece of shit and, and fuck around until I win. That's my, that's my, yeah. <laughs> suit yourself, fella? I will. I will suit myself. I like, I like suiting myself. That's what I do. I, that's why I'm a fucking streamer. <laughs> it's so repetitive, I keep getting lost. Yeah, I think uh, Elden Ring's dungeons are a massive step forward. Like, they're, they're a lot more fun. They don't feel nearly as, like, repetitive and boring they're still like not the most uh i don't know not all of them are like super dissimilar to the rest but they're still fun i like them a lot i think they're done well and they have good rewards at the end and stuff it's good they're the same thing they are not the same thing bloodborne's it's literally like the exact same hallways and the exact same bullshit over and over and it's it's like especially the way that it's connected to the rest of the game it's so annoying run in pull switch fight boss oh wow i just dodged that we'll talk about this in a minute i won't fucking take this slander <laughs> They are very, like, there is a big difference in execution. And most people will agree with me on that. Oh shit. Ah, you bitch. I'm not calling you a bitch because you're a woman. <laughs> Ow. Shit. completely out of stamina whenever I do that. Oh god. Oh god. God damn it, man. delay and also the backstepping in Bloodborne sucks <laughs> I keep going directions I don't want to go oh my god oh my god so much range oh my god Okay. Focus. Where's your head? Okay. Oh my god.
was not expecting that. I just got a very clear view of Amelia's ass and I did not like what I saw. <laughs> I did not like that at all. <laughs> that was fucking weird. Twenty of our vials. Jesus. You're not feeling the werewolf gooch? I am not at all. I am the opposite of feeling it. <laughs> GG dude, thank you. You know, steak driver is pretty fucking weird. <laughs> but it's alright. It's it's pretty it's pretty good pretty all right it's not the worst thing it's not it's not the best but uh it's pretty fun for the most part i i think that like if this game were still being patched then they probably would have changed a few things i would hope that they would have um i think that this move should do more damage it only does as much as like a normal strong attack uh I'm pretty sure it takes longer to do than a normal strong attack. Uh, like, it only does as much damage as this, which is pretty crazy. And then, uh, I think that... I think that the wind-up for this is fine. But I really wish the range was just a little bit better. Because <laughs> the range is so bad. It's, like, so bad. The amount of times that you miss is just insane. Anyway, we're gonna listen to Master Willem tell uh, Lawrence to fuck off. It's gonna be great. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. <laughs> no, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. I must take my leave. I must take my leave.
By the gods, fear it, Lawrence. By the gods, fear it, Lawrence. How fucking old is Master Willem? <laughs> Don't get used to it. Make me feel like uh, not enough PP for this move. <laughs> what? <laughs> like not enough FP or whatever. I'll take anything over the cane, honestly. Dude, I was gonna say that doing a cane, uh, say that doing a cane run myself. The cane is so weak and like, I, I just can't get used to its moveset. It weirds me out. I wish I liked it, but ugh. Like, it's a cool idea. It's a really cool idea, but uh, I think it, man, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that by the end, oh, I will appreciate it more. Probably not, though. At least a couple thousand. <laughs> Good luck with that stagger. <laughs> no charged heavy and transforms. Oh, for the, the not enough PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I think that this uh, skull here is a pretty good example of probably, I, I imagine this is an example of From Software, uh, you know, just kind of like fucking around and shit. Nah, the, the cannon whip form. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> but I'll, I'll just assume, but just, just act like I understand. So it's less awkward. Um, but <laughs> the cane and whip for yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I can't spell, bro. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of people in my chat that can't spell. It's okay. Um, anyway, this, this thing, this thing looks pretty terrible when you put your cam, the camera right in front of it. So I think it's a pretty good example of, uh, from software, just kind of like, probably not fully planning out uh, everything about their game, which is fine, you know, but it just kind of shows, <laughs> you know, they're not, uh, they didn't have a, a whole fucking team devo uh, devoted to this shit where it's like, oh, this, this part, this piece is going to be like this in this cutscene, so it needs to be a really high quality, high poly uh, model. Now nah, they just kind of said, ah, I mean, this is what the cutscene is. Uh, we have this model. There you go. <laughs> and then, uh, even though it kind of looks like shit in the cutscene where it's like really up close and you can just see all of the polygons on it. People don't give a shit. You know? Like, why would they? Like, here. Just as a, a reminder of just how bad it looks. It looks pretty bad. There's a couple... There's, like, uh, a statue in Dark Souls 3 that also looks pretty bad. This thing... Oh, shit. This thing is so... Like... <laughs> it's just... So blurry. <laughs> and so low resolution. And, like, you can see there's a texture steam uh, right there. just like huh weird anyway sorry i just thought that i think it's interesting hi pop boys <laughs> hey what 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 you got a problem you got a problem with what i said it's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> All right. The eye of a blood drunk hunter beckons hunter to beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Odin Chapel. Uh, 
Oh, is this how you get to the DLC? No problem, Steven. It's not my fucking name. <laughs> uh -huh. You must be the new hunt. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be such a dick move. <laughs> you must be the new. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Garman. What is it? Very well. Let I'm not going to talk to him at all, and I, I want to see if there's any difference. Don't tell me if there is. I don't want to know. Give me a sec. Okay, this is a strength and arcane weapon. Strength, dex, and arcane. Or strength, skill, and arcane. It's mostly a strength weapon, I guess. Huh. Farewell, good mate. Weird. Welcome home. What is it? Very well, Ned. All right. Well, give me a sec, actually. Um, okay, this doesn't increase my damage at all. I mean, if we put all these points, would it increase the damage? No. Wow. It scales like almost nothing off of Arcane. <laughs> That is interesting. Farewell, good hunter. You like my glasses? You find your worth in the waking world. My glasses. Sorry, almost did an upskirt shot. That would have been creepy and weird. <laughs> <laughs> She's a doll. Now that's ghost scaling. I'm not sure I understand. What so like it just doesn't it's like a non existent scaling. You would have had to put an elemental gem or arcane. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot about that. I forgot that shit existed. It's basically like infusions, but more confusing to my brain. I think. So basically, unless it has split damage. Yeah. Look at all these books. I'm such a piece of shit for doing this to Garman's books. <laughs> to escape this dreadful hunter's dream halts the source of the spreading scourge of the beasts unless the night carry on forever. It's kind of interesting that they put that there. Storage. Okay. All right. <sighs> Like physical or for bolt. Or like physical and for bolt. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I kick them shits over every time. <laughs> he doesn't read, he's too busy with the real doll. Eh. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna call it there. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and end on that note. Thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> Um, we'll be back. Uh, we're gonna, we'll be back, like, like a couple days from now, probably. Um, I'm taking Wednesday off. I'm not gonna be streaming, uh, tomorrow. You're a good sport, dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, on Thursday, we're gonna be doing more Rain World, because, uh, I need to get, I need to finish the that playthrough of that character of Spearmaster, and then on Friday we might continue. Oh no, wait! On Friday we're doing uh, Turnip Boy commits tax evasion because Lion really wanted me to play that. So on Saturday we'll continue Bloodborne. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be fun. Hmm. All right. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.